guys, it's Carrie. I'm featuring my new lions today. They're from the Safari Vanishing Wild Collection 1993. This snake is representing the boom slang. It is found in Sub-Saharan Africa and is considered the most venomous rear fang snake in the world. This is my new lion from the Safari Vanishing Wild Collection. They were produced in 1993, so that's 30 years ago. There are two cubs as well. The most dangerous lions in the world are considered to be a pair of males devouring some 140 workers along Kenya's Savo River where crews were building a railroad bridge in 1898. Hundreds of workers fled, halting construction. The project's chief engineer finally hunted down both lions and the bridge was completed a year later. Zebra. They are aggressive to humans and other animals when they feel threatened, cornered or protecting their young. The most aggressive zebras are the stallions. Zebras do bark humans and other animals as a form of self-defence and protection of their young. A male zebra will also bite other stallions when it is fighting over a female. Elephant Musk is a periodic condition in bull elephants characterised by aggressive behaviour and accompanied by a large rise in reproductive hormones. Testosterone levels in an elephant in moths can be on average 60 times greater than in the same elephant at other times. Scientific investigation of moths is problematic because even the most placid elephants become violent toward humans and other elephants during musk. Cases of rogue elephants randomly attacking native villages or goring and killing rhinos without provocation in national parks in Africa have been attributed to musk in young male elephants, especially those growing in the absence of older males. Giraffe Can a giraffe beat a lion in a fight? A lion can never beat a giraffe due to its colossal size and height. A giraffe is so tall that a lion can never reach its throat for a bite, which is how it usually tackles big animals. Okapi. The males also use their necks in fighting situations where territorial disputes may arise. They fight with their necks and other males when competing to mate with a female. Rhinoceros. They are really aggressive, unless provoked. If they perceive a threat, they may defend themselves by charging, especially if a female has calves. They will fight by using their strong horns and teeth. This would be enough to take on almost any other animal in question, except the elephant. Black rhinos have the highest rates of mortal combat recorded. About 50% of males and 30% of females die from combat related injuries. Cheetah. In bringing down prey, they have a 58% success rate. They have fast metabolisms and focus on being as efficient with their energy as possible. Their ability to accelerate so fast allows them to overcome and take down and kill most prey. They are highly manoeuvrable and can shift with their prey's movements almost seamlessly. King Cheetah, they are so rare there's only about 30 of them in the whole world. It is exactly the same as an ordinary cheetah just has different fur. Marabou stork, it has a long reddish pouch hanging from its neck. 
It is used in courtship rituals. Shoe bill. They can grow to one and a half meters tall and weigh up to seven kilograms and they can still fly, but not too far. Spoon bill. It feeds in shallow, fresh or coastal water by swinging its bill from side to side. Swan. They are among the largest flying birds. Their wingspans can be over 3.1 metres, which is 10 feet. And the cygnets. Although birds do not have teeth, swans have beaks with serrated edges that look like small jagged teeth. Hippo. As ungainly as it is, the hippopotamus is the world's deadliest large land mammal, killing an estimated 500 people per year in Africa. Hippos are aggressive creatures and they can have very sharp teeth. And you would not want to get stuck under one. They weigh up to 2,750 kilograms and can crush a human to death. Their powerful bite is rated at 1,800 PSI. Leopard, they are dangerous, brave and tough. Unlike most animals that run away and hide when they are wounded, leopards actually become more aggressive and therefore more dangerous. They are fast, vicious and have been known to attack humans for nothing more than a midnight snack. Although they do not look at Leopards are extremely strong. Their ability to drag heavy prey up into a tree is one of the things they can do. Thompson's gazelle has a top speed around 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. This small antelope can run extremely fast up to 80 kilometers per hour and zigzag, an adaption which often saves it from predators. Gazelles can outlast cheetahs in a long chase. Meerkat. The alpha meerkats are the leaders. They are the ones that breed and help the pack to flourish. The other meerkats, the beaters, don't breed but help raise and keep the pups safe. As a member of the mongoose family, Meerkats are actually immune to certain types of venom. They are also able to eat scorpions by biting off the tail with the stinger and then they rub the scorpions in the sand to remove any venom left in the exoskeleton. They always have a sentry on duty to let them know if there is danger. Crocodile while Nile crocodiles are smaller than saltwater crocodiles, they tend to be much more aggressive with a higher rate of attack and fatalities each year. An adult Nile crocodile doesn't have any natural predators, although the young may fall victim to a predator. Springbok, they often go into bouts of repeated high leaps up to two meters into the air, a practice known as bronking. Dama gazelle are known for having extremely long legs, which raises their body off the hot desert sand to help keep them cool. Baboon, with reproduction, there is fierce competition between males for access to sexually receptive females. Adult males who are guarding mates sometimes sit with their erect penis in plain view. This penile display communicates the male's presence to other males. Around ovulation, the perennial skin of the females swell and females present with a vaginal swelling. The male may touch this area or grasp her hair. Mating is initiated by the female who presents her hindquarters to the male. The male mounts the female and thrusts about six times then ejaculates 
Mating so quick because there is intense competition for access to the sexually receptive females. After copulation is complete, intensive grooming of each other takes place. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.